It's called the North Shore. You just have endless options, it's just shelves and shelves of cliffs. You can do one air in your line or five airs, you know, it's just like Mario Land, you're just popping down cliffs. People always are like, you're crazy, like, doing your ski and your extreme skier, you're crazy. And I'm always just like, you're kind of crazy, living in the city, working 40 plus hours a week, driving on the freeway with a bunch of other people and doing the same thing every day over and over, you know, that to me seems nuts. Skiing any big mountain line in general, the whole mind state, it just reduces you to the moment. I mean, all your ego has to go out the window. You know, all your thoughts of like, whatever's going on in your life just has to fall away from that moment. You know, it's basically forced meditation. And that moment, like, is very, very pure. I was a bit nervous this year skiing North Shore just because I was the first one to ski. There's always a bit of avalanche activity and you can't really tell what the snow's like. Hiking over there is pretty much the opposite aspect, so you don't really get a good feel for the snow until you drop in. I'm just gonna catch my breath and look at the line for a second and then I'm gonna go. When I'm strapping in and at the top of the line, that's the scariest part for me. And that's when I try to just go in Zen mode and go in autopilot, lose complete sense of time. You're just totally in the moment, nothing else matters. Your bills don't matter. You know, all these other worries that society places on you are totally out the window. If you don't make it look easy, then you fall. <laughs> and that's not an option. Everybody was throwing down sick lines, and to see the tracks and the bomb holes at the end of the day, it was just, you know, you knew that something special had gone down that day. Ten seconds for digging.